Hey guys, I wanted to share my uh, adaptation of the Ron Polk workbench. I uh, built it whenever I was doing um, some contract work back in St. Louis. Uh, recently moved to Florida and no longer uh, doing that kind of work. I had a 6x12 enclose that I kind of modified um, just based off Ron Polk's inspiration. Um, it's funny how watching some of his videos really get you in gear. Anyway, moved to Florida, just got a small two-car garage, sold my trailer, had to get all my tools out of it, um, and just wanted a workbench, didn't have a good workbench, um, wanted to use Ron's somehow. Um, I can't have it set up four by eight fully all the time. Um, my fiance needs to park her car in here. So what I did was just build uh, a little two by four box bracket type thing, anchored it down to the floor. Um, just use a couple tap cons and some good fender washers, had to shim it up. These garages are sloped a little bit. Um, put this little uh, nub or whatever you want to call it, just air nailed it down. Um, obviously I went off of the same length measurements um, that you'd use for the saw horses. It turned out great. It's very strong. Um, I built them 20 inches high so when they're stacked up it's 36 inches same as before. Um, went ahead and built some two foot deep shelves that I'm happy with. Uh, this one I built 12 inches because some of it's over my workbench. I uh, three quarter inch plywood, pocket hold everything. I like how I did this. I built this one second and I built a little wall bracket, you know, and then pocket hold it all to the sides and top. I like that better than how this looks, but this cabinet was so heavy. Um, I had to attach the two by four to the wall first and then set the shelf on it and screw it from the top. It's going to work. It's big. Holds my shop back, rubber boots, dog food. Um, this was my grandpa's. He built well. He built this for us as a toy chest years ago, 30 years ago probably. Um, I put it on wheels so that now I can access it easily. Just keep personal stuff in it. Um, just put the wheels on it today, so <clears throat> it doesn't really limit my storage. I was able to get bigger storage out of it. Um, swords. My fiance won that in a bikini fitness competition and they gave those away as the trophies. I'm not really into axes and swords, but <laughs> it's a trophy, so we, we like it. Uh, personal things, you know, got them back on the wall. That was a 27 pound snapper back in Southern Indiana. Um, these are two foot deep, built these by screwing a, these are all these houses in Florida here um, are built of concrete block so these side walls of my garage I just went ahead and tap conned a 2x4 to the wall leveled it up I screwed the plywood to that and built little legs between them all it went up really quick me and my dad put these up in a half a day um, holds tons and tons of stuff you can see I got table saw a huge work tote uh, you name it it's in here this was stuff that was all in my truck and trailer from whenever I was doing industrial maintenance traveling. Um, so it really worked out two foot deep. That's about the only shelf I'd recommend building because they just hold everything. They're so strong. Um, you can add in little shelves like I did here. Um, there's Ron's view tainers. Another great idea by Ron. Um, yeah, so I just put this to good use again, you know. Um, it's gonna work out you know I still got the open space here in the floor for whenever my fiance's car is in here um, I can just set it up fully right here and do bigger projects um, a little later down the road I might mirror this wall from this wall um, just to get deeper storage I've um, got to keep, keep my avalanche parked outside this garage is too small anyway so we're only parking one car in here um, 
but yeah that's my take on it I'm real happy with it now I've got a little place to do small jobs that are popping up all the time um, just trying to make the most out of this little garage